Rewind Mode, brought to you by our friends at AMC Theaters. Every week on Wednesdays, we like to look back. I call it the Feeling Old segment, where we look back at the movies that opened 10 years ago this week and the movies that opened 20 years ago this week. Now, last week, Rewind was really a kick because we had two major, major ones. We had Mortal Kombat and we had The 40-Year-Old Virgin. Mm -hmm. This week, even better films. No, they're not. I'm lying to you. <laughs> this was not a great week to go to the movies. Ten years ago, this week, opening in theaters, Brothers Grimm uh, with Matt Damon and Heath Ledger. We had that little horror film, The Cave. By little, I mean entertainment value is very little. And we had Undiscovered. Opening 20 years ago today, we had, of course, who can forget the amazing panda adventure. We all already forgot it. We had Beyond Ragoon, which I don't think any of us at this table ever saw it. We had The Lord of Illusion, which actually I remember it was a little bit of a guilty pleasure of mine at the time. And we had, I, I think the best movie on this list is actually Desperado. Um, so yeah. anyway, Christian, you look at these seven films, ones that opened 10 years ago, 20 years ago. Which ones of these films stand out to you? Well, what stands out to me after looking at this is that a lot of people weren't going to the movies to see a lot of these movies. Not this weekend. And I was one of them. <laughs> I've seen one of these movies. And that, that would be, oops, there we go. I would see, I saw Desperado. And I loved Desperado when I saw it. There was a lot of fun. I thought it was still one of Rodriguez's best. It was a. It is absolutely. It, it was. It, it's. It was like a retelling of El Mariachi, yes. and so I, I. And I had seen El Mariachi. I remember seeing it in in school, and I, and I was always really excited to to see what they do with the, what he could do with a little more money and with right. Banderas because Banderas was taking over the role. Um, and it was just it was so outrageous. It was so bizarre. It it had it, it really introduced me a little bit more. To Rodriguez and made me a huge fan of his back then. I just wish he would have done more since then. But that's the one to me uh, that I really that, that I've ever seen. I know that I avoided Cave. I wanted to see Brothers Grimm, and I think I seen about five minutes of it, and <laughs> no, that was it. Right. I saw about five minutes recently, and I built. Yeah, you don't want to see Brothers yeah, Grimm. Yeah. That's uh, Brothers Grimm stands out to me as like the start of the decline of Terry Gilliam's. Yeah. Uh, you know, powerful directing abilities. I mean, Brothers Grimm is all over the place. Lena Headey's in it. Everyone, everyone was trying to do a good movie, but it just falls apart. Uh, my favorite film on here, I love Desperado. That's a really fun action film. I love all the mariachis with their crazy guns and guitar stuff. It's a great Robert Rodriguez film. I love Lord of Illusions. That film, to me, has is it's grown on me over the years. It's Clive, it was one of Clive Barker's. He directed it. It's a freaky, weird, magic, supernatural horror film. It's got really amazing, horrific scenes in it. It's very memorable. There's a lot of incredible special effects. So Lord of Illusions really sticks out to me as a, one of the better ones. Didn't see, uh, whenever I, I hear Beyond Rangoon, I think Crab Rangoon. That's just me. <laughs> uh, amazing Pan Adventure, totally didn't see it. Why not? The, uh, I was too busy with all the other panda movies I was <laughs> trying to see. Um, and, what was the other one? Brothers Grimm and uh, Cave and something else? Yeah, Doesn't the Cave and something. Yeah, I mean, yeah, for me, doesn't matter. <laughs> uh, Desperado was such a cool film, and and you know he, the director, he was actually really at the height of his powers at that time, and we we kind of been waiting for him to get back yeah. to that a little bit. What what kills me though is it is the quintess in my personal head. It's not really, but in my personal head. It is the quintessential Antonio Banderas as well. Um, is an and here's the thing, it reminds me whenever I see the poster. I do not know why I have this association. It reminds me of this one time that Antonio Banderas was hosting Saturday Night Live. I don't know if you ever saw this, but he would play. I think he was playing himself, if I'm not mistaken. I could be maybe it was another actor playing him. But I think he was playing himself. And Horatio Sanchez would be like his. Uh, what do you call it? His hype man that would be around with always walking just behind Antonio. And when Antonio would be on a date, Antonio would talk to a girl, talking as suave as Antonio does. I just remember this is one of my favorite Saturday Night Live skits, and he goes, The temperature in the room is very warm. I must undo one button. And he starts to reach for a shirt, and Horatio Sanchez would be going, No, Antonio, no, too sexy, too sexy. And then he'd undo one, and Horatio would like lose his mind. Like, ah, it was just a great thing. Brothers Grimm is one of the most disappointing trips I ever took to the theater because I was so excited, not just because it had Heath Ledger and Matt Damon, but it had Monica Belushi. I, I think you're thinking of Monica Belushi, not Lena Headley. But no, had, she's in it as well. Is she as yep. well? She's not the main witch, though. That no. was um, Okay, I didn't know she was in that. See, I already forgot that. But Monica Belushi was in it, who I, to this day, have an uncompromising crush on Monica Belushi. And it's so bad. 
It's so bad. Not only was it just a bad film in general, this is one of those things where it just felt like everybody mailed it in. Heath Ledger was awful in this really? film. Yeah, Matt yeah. Damon was awful in this film. Monica Bellucci had nothing to do. It And it was, you're right, it, it was all over the place, and it was just, you could tell that at the base of it, there must have, there might have been a seed of a genius idea for it, mm -hmm. but it was too genius because you couldn't make it There's manifest. There's a bunch of weird quirky ideas that never manifested. Yeah. There was just a lot of weird starts and stops. It's a disappointing mm -hmm. film. It was a really disappointing <laughs> film. Capping off, at the time, a disappointing weekend.